there's a lady next to me and I hope she doesn't think I'm completely insane just talking to myself, alone 40 at night in a Target parking lot. But this is my life now, I'm pretty much the crazy lady who lives at the Target parking lot. So there's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm talking about today. I just wanted to talk. Despite how weird and, um... Okay. Let's start with... I've already talked about this kind of, but I'm gonna refresh your memory. Um, my... My day kind of looks like... Wake up at about 3, 4... Sometimes later because I just, I sleep a lot. In the afternoon. 4 p.m. average. I will wake up. Um, and Bobby as well. We kind of just hang around for a while. Uh, if On the days that Bobby has work. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly her work hours because they change. But most of the time we make the drive down. From the foothills that we live in to Fresno the air the Fresno area um, where she works and the drive takes half an hour and depending if she works four hours lately I've been trying to stay here in in Fresno just doing like whatever most of the time it's just what you're looking at right now um, it's me in the car reading, um, eating stuff. Uh, but I, I, I have, we have memberships to the gym and I go there often. We made sure it was a 24 hour gym and it's been a lifesaver, honestly. I'm, I might go tonight. I, um, when I'm at the gym, it's fine. It's whatever. When I still have battery a charged phone, it's it's okay because I watch YouTube and stuff. And I also have my Kindle, which has been great. And then Bobby's out. Sometimes we stop for like McDonald's or Starbucks or something before doing the half hour drive back up. And then we chill for a while longer and we go to sleep at about... 5.36 and it seems like a lot going on but I'm starting to really like this routine we have when I when I get to stay down here I also don't mind okay sometimes when she works um, more than four hours um, I'll drop her off drive all the way back home which is a half hour drive so I'm doing half hour drive here half hour drive back and to pick her up half hour and half hour that's two hours of me driving and even though I don't mind it really it's a lot on the gas money and that's my main motivator of staying down here as often as possible um and yeah the point is I'm I'm getting really really comfortable with this routine uh, I'm not ecstatic about it because it's not fun to do nothing for four hours but I've been making it work really well I think um, uh, both my dad and Bobby's dad have both told me they're concerned about how much I'm on the road that like my chances of being in an accident like go up a lot and I know I know that I'd rather not think about it I'm a real good driver I'm real careful I've never had an accident at all ever never had um, any kind of traffic ticket, speeding ticket, parking ticket, none of that. I'm a real good driver. Um, the thing is, Fresno drivers, y'all suck. I hate you guys so much. So the road up and down the foothills and Fresno, um, it's just like one way. What do you call that when it's like a road with two sides and one's going that way and the other one's just going this way. It's like a, a, a one lane road. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So when there's assholes who are, who are doing like 70 on the curves, the curves, did I say that right? On the curves and stuff and like at night when there's animals and shit, 
it stresses me out. I have to like um, get out on the turnouts or like kind of speed up a little bit. And sometimes they flash their lights telling me to pull over and I'm like, fuck all of you. And it is a little stressful. But um, I've gotten used to it, so that's not too bad. One thing that's not so nice is the weird little fear I get when, like, I kiss Bobby goodbye. Because I'm just real scared of the people here. <laughs> that They're, like... It really sucks. It sucks to be scared to like hold your own partner's hand and kiss them goodbye when they go to work. I'm just nervous. I feel like people here are less accepting than people in other cities. Like in San Diego, I don't feel as scared. Um, we went to San Francisco and we definitely, I mean, San Francisco is the Gaylord Central of America, but it's just, it's something I think both of us notice when we go to like kiss each other or hold hands or something. It's like that little bit of fear, like we hesitate a little bit and, you know, things that have been going on here in the country uh, have not made that any easier. You know what I miss doing? Wearing makeup. There's nothing stopping me from wearing makeup. I'm just real lazy. Bobby called me boring because I got regular Fritos. You know what she called them? Blank Fritos. Blank. I watched like part of the presidential debates. It's real horrible. I hate, I hate politics and I hate that I have to be involved in politics. Like, can I just move out of the country? I don't want to live here anymore. Maybe I'll go to Canada. Look, it's the kitties. Do you see them? It's the kitties again. Hello. Oh, they're so pretty. Mr. Bond and Baby Bond. How adorable. Uh, but Bobby's mom very, very clearly and specifically told me that I'm not allowed to bring any of them home. I know that. I wasn't going to do anything. 